Star Shield HST installation procedure. These are the tools you will need. Gloves must be worn during termination process to prevent unwanted contamination that could degrade product performance. Strip and trim cables to length. Begin by stripping wire to appropriate length and remove excess shielding braid. Recommended lengths can be found at glenair.com. Adjust hot air gun temperature. Adjust hot air gun to a setting of 4 to 5 or 450 to 520 degrees Fahrenheit. Stage protective sleeve. Install protective sleeve adjacent to stripped braid. This will help organize and protect wire bundle throughout the termination process. Heat the protective sleeve, being careful not to make contact with the reflector or to overheat the sleeve. Cool down and inspect sleeve. After heating the sleeve, allow it to cool down to prevent coming in contact with hot material. During this time, inspect the sleeve for heat damage such as dark brown or black burn marks or cracking. Stage the Star Shield HST and ferrule over the wire bundle with the solder preform and slotted ferrule ends oriented towards the contacts. Position HST solder preform over stripped section of braid. Slightly rotate the HST to assist in staging. Position Star Shield Ferrule. Slide the Star Shield Ferrule slotted side oriented towards contacts over the leads until the non-lipped end slides under the HST braid. Be sure solder preform butts up against the leading end of the stripped jacket material. Reset hot air gun temperature. Before applying heat to the Star Shield HST, adjust the temperature range on the hot air gun to 8 or 9. Heat and solder HST. Focus heat on the ferrule for a few seconds and begin moving the solder preform towards the center of the heat gun reflector, being careful not to touch the outer heat shrink material to the reflector. Inspect termination. Check termination for defects such as exposed braid, torn shrink sleeve, incompletely melted solder.